there are two prominent automatic repeat request schemes associated with sliding window flow control and the first of these is go back in. The basic idea behind this ARQ is that we will use a sliding window meaning that we can send several frames without receiving acknowledgement but once the source realizes that one of the frames was not received or was received in a garbled form it will resend not only that frame but also all of the frames that follow it. This is true even if the destination actually successfully received some of those frames. So here are the details in a diagram. We will once again start with a source and a destination. We have two lines indicating these systems and time will proceed downward. The source will send frames with sequence numbers to the destination. In this example, we'll be using sequence numbers 0 through 3. So if things go well, we'll get a sequence of frames being sent that looks something like this. Now remember that because we are using sequence numbers 0 through 3, the most that the source can send before having to wait for some sort of acknowledgement from the destination is 3 frames. So if it sends frames with sequence numbers 0, 1, and 2, it will then have to wait for some sort of acknowledgement before sending frame 3. And the destination does not have to acknowledge every frame individually, but if things are working well, it will periodically send acknowledgements in the form of ready-to-receive requests. So let's say that after receiving frame 1, it sends an RR2, indicating that because it has successfully received frame 1, it is now ready to receive frame 2. Now the destination didn't know that frame 2 was already en route, but this information will be, of course, updated down the line. So once this is received, it is safe for the source to continue, and it will send more frames. And of course, these numbers wrap around. Once we get to 3, we then go back to 0, and this process keeps looping through the same sequence numbers. So the source will stop if it needs to. The destination will periodically send ready-to-receive requests, but the whole point of the ARQ is to define how these systems will behave if frames are lost or garbled. So let's say that frame 1 is lost in transmission. Let's also say that after receiving frame 0, the destination sent a ready-to-receive. Once this ready-to-receive arrives, the source has the all-clear to send a few more frames. So it will continue and send frames 2 and 3. But the moment that frame 2 arrives at the destination, it will complain. It was expecting frame 1, but now frame 2 has shown up. This is out of order. And so as soon as 2 shows up, it sends a reject message. It will say reject and the number 1. This is essentially saying that the destination refuses to accept any more frames until the source resends frame 1. This also implicitly acts as a ready to receive one. So we know from the source's perspective that everything preceding one has been received. Now that was already known from this particular message, but it could also be used to infer extra information. So we reject with, and we say resend one. That means that frames two and three that were successfully received by the destination are in fact discarded. And so once this reject one message arrives at the source, it sends frame one again and continues sending more and more frames. Now once again, the most frames that the source can send without receiving acknowledgement is three. 
because we only have four possible sequence numbers and we have to make sure that the sliding window still has viable frames in it. At this point, the sliding window on the source side does not have any viable frames in it. So after sending frame three, the system will wait. Now let's say that after receiving frame two, the destination sent a ready to receive request, but that this got lost because frames can get lost going in both directions. So the destination acknowledged frame two by saying it was ready for frame three, but that message was lost. Now what happens on the source side is that after a certain period of waiting, we will once again get a timeout. Now the last time we had any messages successfully received from the destination was here. So the timeout period starts from there, and once that period elapses, we will send a ready to receive query from the source side. So this is a ready to receive frame, but it has a poll bit sent to one. Essentially, the source is asking the destination, what should I send next? Can you remind me where we left off? Now, once the destination receives this, it will send its own ready to receive frame with a value of zero. The reason for this is that the last frame that the destination successfully received was frame three. So the next sequence number is zero because we wrap around from three back to zero. Once this ready to receive of zero is received, the source is able to begin transmission from frame zero and continue on with more frames as before. So in summary, go back in ARQ may have to repeat up to n frames where n is the window size on both the source and the destination. So if there's some sort of problem, it may have to resend all of those frames, despite the fact that some frames may have been successfully received after the point where one frame was lost. The reason for this scheme is that it is simple to implement, and it does still take advantage of sliding window flow control, but it is a bit wasteful to discard these packets that were successfully received. An ARQ scheme that does not throw away these frames is selective reject ARQ. Selective reject ARQ is more complex and slightly more difficult to implement, but it makes more efficient use of the communication lines because it never throws away a frame that it has successfully received. It simply asks for the problematic lost frames to be resent, not all the ones that followed it. So as before, I'll draw a source and destination and we'll walk through this diagram in a second. When things are going well in the selective reject ARQ scheme, it looks identical to go back in. Frames are sent by the source, acknowledgements come from the destination, and there's no problems. I've drawn in all of the steps in this diagram that occurred in this diagram because when things are operating smoothly, they behave identically. But it is at this point where we, we begin to see differences. When frame one gets lost, frame two and frame three are still successfully received. This indicates to the destination that there is a problem because it knows that frame one was lost, but it does not discard these frames. Rather, it buffers them and saves them for later. It does, however, immediately send a selective reject frame indicating that one needs to be resent. Once this selective reject frame is received, the source resends frame one. And in principle, it could immediately go on to send frame zero, except the window on the source side is empty. Um, once this selective reject one was received, the source knew that frame zero had been received, one had been lost, and it had already sent frames two and three. 
So at this point, the source is waiting for a ready to receive message so that it can expand its sliding window. So once the frame one is received, the destination will send a ready to receive zero because it already successfully received the two and the three. The one fills in the gap from what was lost here. And so from this point, we can go back and send frame zero. Now the source will continue sending frames, but the other issue to be concerned about is what happens when a ready to receive message from the destination is lost. So the source will happily send up to three frames without having any pause. And let's say we have a ready to receive message here that got lost. And so after receiving this one, the destination will be ready to receive two, but this message is lost. And the question is, how does the source respond? Well, once again, there's a timeout. The last message it received was this RR0. So from this point, it measures the time that elapses. Eventually, a timeout interval is reached. And the response from the source, once again, is to poll the destination asking what it wants to be sent next. So it will send this RR poll frame. And once that's received by the destination, it will reply saying that it is ready for frame three. Once this is received, the source can continue sending frames as before as in the go back in ARQ scheme. So we have two forms of automatic repeat request which are associated with sliding window flow control. So ARQ is a means of air control that assures that lost packets going either from source to destination or destination to source do not cause any information to be lost because we can always request that frames are resent. Selective reject requires fewer frame resends, but has more complex logic. One final piece of information to recall about both flow control and ARQ schemes is that they are associated with the data link layer of the protocol stack. And that concludes this unit on that particular protocol layer.